yellow. It's a beautiful afternoon. Really, yes, get you okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who's, who else is dancing? <laughs> God bless you, Ishley. All right, so his will and his wish is my command. So let me tell you about the part two of the um, episode one. Now, I actually do want to make another episode because truly, I didn't. But after I made episode one, the Holy Spirit said, you're going to have to make another one. Because you weren't explicit enough. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? I wasn't explicit enough. I said everything. And then it reminded me of somebody that I didn't talk about. The truth is, honestly, I forgot about the person. I, I actually haven't remembered his name for years and everything. Because, hello, I was quite young then, quite young. And so it was it's something I've forgotten. And the truth is, those things are already under the blood. But the Holy Spirit wants them out for a purpose so i was not like shall i stop this you are thinking your own thought he said really you are not thinking your own thought do you want me to remind you of the name that you forgot it for years <laughs> in like a second he just told me the name I'm like are you serious so you mean business you really mean this right okay so when he reminded me of the name he told me to go back and then he emphasized sincerity and transparency mm. he said that's the foundational stones I must be sincere okay so we're here and it's his will and his will is my command now there is a danger of keeping sin you know cooking it up or after um, we commit some a, um, a sin we do something wrong to keep it the truth is it actually starts eating you up and when we don't confess our wrongs when we hide it in our hearts, we leave them there unconfessed, or we are not seeking help from the Lord Jesus Christ. I saw the post yesterday from a friend. Satan has a legal right on our souls when we don't do that. God wants us to come out clean, impure, and clean about things. I think in the book of Acts, it, it talked about some Christians that showed their curious acts and you know, they exposed all their works and everything. And the Bible said, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Now, th there is a place for confession and making things right. You don't have to come public about it. God will direct you how to do it. The Bible said, confess your sin one to another. You know, I did that one time and I regretted it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get to that. After some time, you know, as these episodes come out, you're going, to, you're going to get to that. And I'm going to tell you about my own experience. So that actually leaves a scare in our hearts. Who to talk to, who is trustworthy, who is a Christian brother, who is a Christian sister, and all that. Those are things that we have to battle with sometimes. That's not supposed to be in a Christian church, just that we are being hypocritical to one another. And when we get in that state, this brother is like, like my pastor would tell me, he would say that if a brother or a sister is fully dressed and they are telling you to remove your clothes, you won't want to do that. So most of the time, our elders, our fellow brothers and sisters, they act perfect with their clothes, like this kind of turtleneck I'm wearing right now, and with their suit and with their tie and with their everything, and with their long skirts and their flat heels and stuff. And it looks like that person is perfect. You don't even know who to talk to. But I know Jesus is here. He is here. When you read John 4, it makes it so obvious that Jesus is not here to condemn us. He that is not sick doesn't need a physician. He came for the sin of somebody like me, and he has saved me by his amazing grace. So there was this neighbor, a person that parked our, our compound um, years back. I was very much younger. I can't remember the age now. So um, it was just like a big brother, a very big brother, you know. And then, you know, this neighbor that will be caring for you. How are you? Where are you going to? Good morning, sir. You know, they do respect away. Good morning, sir. Good morning, this, you know, that kind of thing. And so after some time, he started sending me, <coughs> excuse me, on errands. And then I run errands for him, gives me tips and all that. Before you know, brother will put arms, his hand around me and 
I'll just be like, ah, stop. You know, it's not the way you say stop the first time that you say the second time. Just, just warm hug, on a hug, and from hugging, he kissed me. And from after that, you know, um, there's this house that's not too far from my house. Nobody lives there. Sometimes we meet there at night, and then he hugs me and he romances me and he stimulates my private part. Now this was this is the same girl that said um, there will be no hug, no kissing, no romance, no sex before marriage. I'm trying to tell you that the truth is, sin truly will take you farther than you want to go. Slowly but surely taking control. Sin will make you pay more than you really want to pay. There's a way Billy Paul said that quote, and you know, it means a whole lot. I got to that stage that it started stimulating my private part. Now, that's what many of us go through. This one says, now I'm a believer, but even within, believe me, even within ourselves, we have such issues, such things are going on, even from both elders and young people. Truth. And it hurts. Who are you going to tell? Who are you going to tell? Who will you talk to? So many things are going on. But I'm sure that God will help us. God will help us to expose the unfruitful works of darkness. We reprove them. The Bible said, even fornication should not be once named among us. But when you don't name, finish. You need not die. You will now say, Lord, change me that this vessel that brought a reproach should bring glory back to your name because that's what your blood is for. Well, we're here. <laughs> so that was actually what he wanted me to talk about. We just keep praying for me. I'm sure the Lord would help us. He'll give you strength to make things right also. And you have that peace, that peace that surpasses all understanding that no matter what comes and what goes, you are anchored your short in yeah like nobody matters all that matters is jesus yes all that matters is jesus and i'm sure that that's the place that jesus wants in our life so it doesn't deserve the, first, the second place it deserves the first place at the center of our lives so i appreciate you thank you for your time thank you for your love kindly share this video you don't know who's going to help who's going to encourage somebody that it will help to get out of depression and all that just let them follow the story let them follow the story i'm sure god will give each and every one of us victory god bless you and it's my pleasure to be here shalom